Today, we are going to organize my closet. Normally, hate showing this type of stuff. I have a lot of things that I really wanna get done within I don't know, the first half of the year, goals. Part of that is finishing to paint my room, which I have been doing slowly but surely, and um, also organize my closet, because I feel like those are two very, those are two things I have wanted to fix for years, and I have always just pushed it off, and now it is 2023. Like, a fourth of my closet is really just storage. I don't mind that, because like, you know, the way that they put the rack in there, it can't hold a lot anyway, so it doesn't matter that I can't use the clothing rack, which is why I have so many little drawer systems in there, which I'll show you in a second. I think my style and my care towards my style went down drastically, and I want to get that back. <laughs> um, I don't really know how, but I feel like cleaning out my closet and getting rid of a lot of the clothes I've been holding on to for way too long... Is part of that a few weeks ago I went to Target and I like filmed a TikTok for it and everything but like I went to Target and when I went to Target this time I wanted to just look at the clothes because I just wanted to envision things on myself I tried to do some of those things like wearing the skirt with the t-shirt and like the dresses and some of the sets but I just didn't like how it looked on me I didn't and I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it for myself. Well, I just didn't like the skirt vibe on me. I just didn't think that I looked like I could pull it off. <laughs> but I hate that because it's such a basic thing that I feel like I should be able to feel comfortable in that, but I don't. I know that you didn't know me before this, <laughs> before I started this channel, but I was such a fashion girly before everything. Like, I loved looking cute. I you know, loved looking cute going out, even if we were just running to Target, running to the mall. I don't know, I wanna kinda get that back. And it's not that I per se wanna be exactly that person again, because in some ways I feel like I'm happier <laughs> than I was then, but I think that that's one aspect that I would love to be able to get back. To clear away the nonsense and um, move on. And the reason why I'm also starting this right now is because I started watching Daisy Jones and the Six and I had to pause it because it was getting way too good and I was way too invested. Yeah, let's let's go look at the closet. Honestly, you can kind of see the situation in my closet just even from this angle. My closet is very making do with what we got and I never just cared about what it looked like. I don't care that it looks aesthetic because I can't change anything in here. My whole little Beyonce collection here. I have my vinyls in here also and a shit ton of hoodies in here this side that I'm looking at is just storage like I just needed to be able to put this bigger stuff somewhere so it's over there and I don't mind that um, and as I said the rail like this cannot hold a lot so it was never because I used to actually have all of my um, clothes hanging up so I could see them and then after a few times of the rail just like kind of breaking and like lifting and like tilting because of the weight I decided to take majority of those things off and get drawers to put in here and I couldn't get anything too heavy just like this <laughs> because um they're lighter weight than actually getting a dresser normally hate showing this type of stuff and I know that not everyone has super aesthetic closets some of us are just dealing with what we have and so for the other girlies who are just dealing with what you have but want to be organized in some way hey here we are so let me show you the closet overview this is not like the best I realize that my towels always just seem in the way everywhere I put them but this is like organized and I like this little box I got it from Sam's Club I'm <laughs> not gonna lie uh, and I just thought it was really really cute so we're using it I have some clothes hung up right here need to change that because I can't even get to it <laughs> so it makes no sense these drawers are organized and folded I actually did a TikTok where I was like doing this and then I didn't even like film me folding up the clothes but oh my gosh this is so nice I have so many t-shirts <laughs> t-shirts these are leggings and sweats and then the bottom is jeans which yes the top of here 
not organized at all but i did get this book for beyonce from target so that will go in the beyonce collection more clothes right here um these are essentially my nicer tops and some cardigans but at the same time i don't really think that all of this needs to be hung up or if any of this is even stuff that i would wear in the future you saw the hoodies are up here in a round because i have so many there's like overflow shoes on the side which i probably even could go through the shoes but that will probably be later i want to go through these drawers right here i need to go through these three this is what we're going to do today and then yeah that's what i want to do i had to get all of the clothes that were hanging up first i thought this would be the easier task to tackle and i had a lot of clothes <laughs> i didn't really realize how much i had stuffed on the rack until i started pulling it all off <laughs> some of these are items that i have not worn in years to be quite honest i never really had reason to wear them and some of it i was like this does not need to be hung up i don't know why i was hanging this up it's not that cute it's not even the right size anymore <laughs> you know so i i had to go through some of this stuff and i had to separate it obviously the pile that you can see are the things that i'm still going to keep hung up because they're just like nicer tops things that i wear if i do go out and for like parties and things like that so it is nice to have those tops um but some of them i was like i'm just gonna give this away <laughs> and I will move on from there but a lot of this is stuff that i've had for quite a few years and you know they're good tops but i don't need all of them and i think that was like a big part of this it was just taking up space and you can see my lights changing back there on my headboard <laughs> um i had this hanger that was meant for scarves but i filled it up with a bunch of different tank tops yeah i didn't need that all of those tank tops honestly can be folded up the ones that I did decide to keep and so I, I just had to separate them and some of them I was just like you know what, I need to give this away because like what's the point I also discovered that I had a lot of bodysuits which is weird considering I do not fit a lot of bodysuits like my torso is just a little too long for them and so it just never fits me properly <laughs> all the time so um, I was shocked to see how many I found I have a few dresses in here which was really unexpected because I didn't really think I had any out i don't really like to wear dresses a lot so um that's why it was kind of shocking these are all of the hangers that i managed to clear out it's a good number okay i think i did a pretty good job and now i just need to put all of these clothes back onto the little portion of the clothing rack and yes so i have three drawers in that drawer system the other one is like socks and bras and underwear roughly all of this stuff was originally in these three stuffed some way somehow on i have this pile on top of my chair right here of clothes that i plan on giving away <laughs> um and then there's a little carryover right here that needs to be folded and put in other places that i have now designated spots for so i feel like once i go through here again I am going to inevitably probably get rid of some stuff because hello this is ridiculous i'm still making it through daisy jones and six but like yes so this was supposed to be like nicer tops that i can fold but as you can see this is how big the container is so like i don't know if i have the folding skills to get all of this in there we shall see this was like workout tops and stuff but I feel like I should have room in here that maybe I could make it like half workout tops and half something from here. And then these are just like t-shirts. More t-shirts. So um, we're going to have to try and figure this out and fold this shit down. We're going to tackle this first because if I can figure out if I have more room here, that would be great. Okay, I am back. We are folding up some clothes now. I pulled out the uh, three drawer little system <laughs> that I had that was near my shoes um I wish that there was just like a more cohesive look for these drawers but kind of you just have to deal with what you can find that will fit in the space um 
So they work. It's whatever. No one's going in my closet anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're the only ones who know, but I guess that's a lot of people. Anyways, um, so I'm folding up all of the workout tops that I have in here. I have more, but like these are just the ones that ended up being over here. Um, so I was trying to arrange them in the drawer, trying to see how I can fit the most amount of things in here while also being able to still see everything and not, you know, forget that something's there. And then I decided to start folding up some of the plain, like basic tops that I had that were nicer, quote unquote, <laughs> or like the tank tops that I had that I sometimes use for layering. I finished folding, put everything away. I will show you in a second. I also finished the first three episodes of Daisy Jones and the Six. And honestly, because I think because I have not reread it, which maybe worked in my favor, I didn't really notice too many things they changed that I feel like would impact my enjoyment. Um, so good for them. <laughs> I loved it. Even the recordings of the songs, it sounded so fucking good. Uh, but I'm sure if I reread the book, I would be like, oh wait, they changed this. Oh wait, this didn't actually happen like this. But I feel like most of the stuff is accurate. I don't know. Nothing really stuck out to me that I was like, wait, 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 wait. That did not happen. <laughs> so yeah, but it has been a few years. I don't know. I'll have to get online and see. But I feel like the general consensus, consensus is that it's really good first three episodes. And so I am really happy with that uh, because I have been looking forward to this for so long. And I can't remember the last time I was truly excited about a show that was coming out. This did not let me down. I was totally into it, totally addicted to it. So yay! And it totally got me through cleaning and my closet already looks a little better now that I have an actual spot for everything. Amazing how much impact just doing that will have. I do think I still have too many things hung up. Uh, like there's not room for more clothes to be hung up. Um, which I feel like kind of goes against the purpose of what I wanted to do with that. Like I didn't want it to feel overwhelmingly like there was a lot on the little little section that I have to hang stuff. So I don't know, I might try and go through that again and see if there's anything I want to take off. Welcome back to my closet, my very unesthetic closet. Um, it's still not fully clean because things have happened. I've been doing a lot of stuff and so yeah, whatever But these are the clothes that I did hang up as you can see Look at my shoes. I totally went through all of my shoes Discovered that there were so many shoes on here that I couldn't even fit anymore and I had no idea how they got past me So yeah, now I have like no shoes <laughs> This whole rack was full and now it isn't crazy i was thinking about like not posting this video at all because i was like oh my god my closet just looks like a mess of everything like all of these hoodies up here it just looks like it just looks like nothing like there's nothing aesthetic and cute about it like these boxes from sam's club <laughs> that i'm using to store things and like it's not even like aesthetic like these are leggings and shorts like you know like softy shorts that you can wear to sleep this is me just making it work i really don't care to make this closet super aesthetic so why would i sit here and pretend like i want to and then i have more shirts in here 
and leggings are if you can see and I have them like layered because I have so many like extra tops but they are rolled to the best of my ability <laughs> this one looks a little better I think you can kind of see this one I can't really see it and you saw the hoodies just now so those are all of my hoodies and then my shoes and that is everything I think we're gonna end this vlog here just because I feel like I'm done <laughs> um there's not really much to do that I have to show you but this was a good part one to this yay productive day before I really go let's do a quick throwback to when I painted my room I'm sure you noticed <laughs> so this is the day that I impulsively decided today I am going to paint my room and so I had to take everything off of the walls and as you can see the state of my walls it desperately needed a painting but I didn't have paint and I didn't have the patience so I just kept putting posters over everything um, the reason why it looks like this is mainly because a long long time ago when I first moved in I lit a candle in my room and just like kind of wanted to have a mood just vibes um, but then when I looked at it I was like oh my gosh look at all this stuff on the wall <laughs> and so that's how that happened and then the black marks at the top are because I used to have Christmas lights around my room I like lights in my room so that's what happened and now my walls my walls look like that <laughs> so yes they desperately need to be painted and I knew it had to be done at some point whether it was when I finally move out or you know now and I decided now because I really wanted to change up my walls and so it looks like this I painted everything myself and I think I did a pretty good job for it being my first time I didn't take any of my furniture like move it or anything so I had to paint around my headboard around my curtains and make sure that I didn't get any paint on my bed and I think I did a really really good job <laughs> like it looks really really nice and I'm proud of myself <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know when I'm gonna post this I mean I probably will post this sooner than later but like oh my gosh it looks it looks great it looks amazing for someone who has never painted a room before this is a pretty damn good job and I did not spill much paint anywhere like oh my gosh I got it in like two places and they're so small and like <laughs> um, I'm so happy with it and I love that it's now a clean slate for me to do whatever I can totally decide now what I want to do with the walls without feeling like I have to cover more area and I'm so excited um I didn't get to much more of the room than what you're seeing yeah that's it I don't know I don't know what to say that's it I'm just so excited Ooh, I'm so happy with it today is episode of we don't need no man I painted almost done with the whole Log. I'll go over it again, but like still. We don't need a man. Gotta love it. When they have into dreams, baby.